Does that change your mind in supporting the closure of the outdoor dining? No, it, do it doesn't. Whether there's evidence or not, you still have to take it as a real threat, you know? If we cannot sustain what we're doing outside and continue to move our business, there's, there's just no reason to be able to keep it open. What's going on everyone? James Klug here. This last Wednesday, LA County shut down restaurants from serving their customers both indoors and outdoors. Today we're in LA asking locals their thoughts. LA County Health Department issued a second shutdown for restaurants. Now this time, it's for both indoor dining and outdoor dining. So they can't serve outdoors anymore. Do you guys support that or no? No, I do. I'm sorry, my mom works at the health director part, so yeah, I do. Do you support that? Well, I definitely do because, I mean, we're in the middle of a, a pandemic. Whether you believe it's fake or not, you really have to take it serious because there's people dying. It won't be affecting me at all because I don't really go to restaurants anyways, so my opinion on it is it's kind of lame because i like the outdoor seating i think they should keep that either way do you guys agree with that no whoever wants to okay no i personally disagree with that as well to be honest i don't care i just want them to do what's best for everyone answer is no yeah same with you same with them. no we are on a road trip from san francisco and it's our first time in la and we got news that the outdoor dining was shut down and it makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, It's just hurting small business owners. That's it. Do you agree with that? Well, I don't, I mean, I agree with the fact that they're trying to be safe. I agree with that. But what I don't agree with, a lot of the small businesses, you know, I don't think they're gonna survive this time around because it's too hard already. So I did a couple interviews this week with restaurant owners and some of them have spent upwards of $40,000 for an outdoor seating area. Do you see their frustration there? Yeah, I noticed that uh, at the restaurant that I work at, they got all this set up for outdoor seating and stuff, and now it's gonna be closed down, and I think it's just, it's a bummer for everyone, you know? Uh, we put up lighting, we put up electricity, we've put up, um, uh, I've had to buy tables, I've had to buy chairs, wow. um, I've dumped food at least three times when they've opened me and shut me. All that food, all the labor, all the manpower, it all goes back into the trash. I can't save it. I built a full-on patio with city approval and plans to do it the right way. Um, that's gone. I, can't, I will not be able to use that going forward. It will be all takeout. All takeout uh, is just styrofoam jugs and containers and everything else are going out the door. So we went to go stock up on all this and all the supply houses are out of stock. So when that goes out of stock, what do I do? LA County Department of Health when questioned uh, for the scientific evidence to support shutting down outdoor dining as well. Keep in mind, a lot of these restaurants have been shut down for indoor dining for, for quite some time, um, but for outdoor dining as well, they didn't have evidence to back the claim that outdoor dining was significantly contributing to, to the uh, COVID spikes or the rise of COVID cases. Does that change your mind in supporting the closure of the outdoor dining? No, it, do it doesn't. Whether there's evidence or not, you still have to take it as a real threat, you know? Do you believe in following the science? Yes, I do, very much. So what are your, what are your thoughts on when make, making, making rules when there, it can't be backed up by science? Does that seem like shooting in the dark, or what are your thoughts? Um, I think they're honestly just trying to be as cautious as possible, mostly just because this a bunch of new cases just, like, happened, and so I think they're just trying to be more conservative and, like, cautious about what they're doing and I think them shutting them it down is just I don't know I feel bad for the businesses of course it's the, if for many of these restaurants because they've been on lockdown for most yeah. of the year this is the final dagger for them and as for keeping people safe that's actually a really interesting point you brought up there uh, LA County was questioned um, their Department of Health was was questioned on the evidence of COVID or outdoor di dining contributing to COVID they had no evidence that they were able to provide showing that outdoor dining was significantly or at all contributing to COVID. So without having any evidence, they moved forward with an outdoor lockdown. Does that make sense to you or no? No, it does not at all, at all. Because we are outdoors, you know, so what the hell? And you know, outdoors, I don't really think that it has anything to do with it. 
I think there's I think there's certainly ways that can be backed up by science to, to tackle the big uh, the big contributors to COVID spreading. Mm -hmm. Yes. Instead of just sort of shooting in the dark and stabbing restaurant owners in the, you know, in the back in the process. Yes, yes I agree 100 percent with you, 100 percent. As for restaurants that that spent money for the outdoor dining, uh, in order to stay in compliance with with COVID regulations and everything like that, um, a lot of them feel like they were stabbed in the back after being told to close down their outdoor. Some some of these restaurants are spending upwards of forty thousand dollars on outdoor seating. Um, what are your thoughts on that? I definitely feel that the city has some type of obligation to pay those uh, restaurants that paid that amount of money. I would feel angry too if I was a, a owner of a business and I was paying that much amount of money and the city wasn't even listening to me, you know? At the end of the day, they're not a big business, it's a small business, you know? They're not Amazon that could lose all this amount of money and still... It sounds like you're making an argument for opening up their outdoor dining. <laughs> well. We're in the middle of a pandemic, you know, obviously small businesses are going to take a hit because they don't have that amount of money to stabilize themselves throughout a duration of time, you know. The average small mom and pop restaurant had 14 days of cash flow when this started. They're long gone. That middle third group guys are gone and the guys like myself that have been doing this for almost 20 years, we're healthy, the restaurant's been a long time. We're at a point where we're not going to be able to sustain this any longer because this is our lifeline right now. The outdoor patio is our lifeline. If we cannot sustain what we're doing outside and continue to move our business, there's, there's just no reason to be able to keep it open. There's 31,000 restaurants in L.A. County. I was speaking to some business owners in Covina where COVID is barely a problem. Do you think that they should all be treated the same or differently? Because right now it is it is a blanket policy. What are your thoughts? I think it should be treated the same. I'm not, just because everyone's talking about fairness and how like, I don't know, equal rights and stuff. So I feel like they should be treated the exact same if like, yeah. <laughs> Equally have their businesses uh, shut down. It's very obvious that they're just draining the economy, especially these restaurants, like in this area specifically, outdoor dining is very popular. I mean, this outdoor dining right here. Hey, sure, this sure. isn't the this isn't the time for them to be squeezing even more money out of these restaurant owners and these businesses, especially when we don't even have more stimulus coming or anything like that. It's important to keep these places open, and I don't agree that we should be closing them. Very well said, you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I really you. appreciate it.